Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we'll be making some stars that we can add to a film poster in a kind of review style. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image all ready to go. It comes to us from Photolia. And what I want to do is add maybe four or five stars to this to make it look like a film poster and a review. Now there's a few ways we can do this. Let's come over to the tools over here on the left hand side and down here we can choose a custom shape tool. Now in here we've got lots of shapes. We can add shapes to it using this cog and then choosing all. And in here we do have some stars. And they're the kind of stars that we're after, but we haven't really got the control that we'd really like. So I'm gonna find an alternative way of doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my shapes again, and this time choose the polygon tool. Now right now I've got a five-sided polygon tool filled with yellow, and it's gonna be a shape. So let's see how that looks. And sure enough, there's our polygon and that works great. I'm gonna Control or Command Z that to go back. Right up here, there's a cog. If I click on that, you can see now that I can make it into a star. So if I click there, I can then change the indent size. We'll do that in just a second. Here we go, let's draw this out, and that's kind of where I wanna be. I'm gonna Command Z that again. Let's go and change the indent size, maybe to something like 30%, so we can see what's going on. Now that's not quite what we're after. That indent really needs to be more. I'm gonna command Z again and come back and 45% was about where I wanted it to be. Now I can also smooth the curves off if I wish and you can see that I get this little flower shape as well. Definitely not what I'm after. I'm gonna go and take that off. I can smooth the indents if I wish and again, that's not really what I'm after. Let's go and take that off. If you've got a special offer, you can always add more points to this. Let's go to 20 and see what we get there. And we can make this really nice big star or sunburst if we wish. Let's control or command Z that. And I'm gonna come back to five points. To get my star orientated the way I want to, I can press the shift key and then click and drag straight up and you'll see that it's aligned. This works in 45 degree angles. So as I bring my mouse around, you can see that it changes the angle. Actually straight up works very well here. All right, let's make my star, something like that, and I'm gonna move it just up to the top a little bit. Now I've made this bigger than I want to, and we're gonna to have to have some jiggery pokery in just a little while, but for now, let's make it nice and big. I'm gonna add some layer effects to this. So let's double click there, and let's add some layer styles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bevel and emboss, and I'm gonna make it chisel hard. So let's go chisel hard there, that brings that up nice, and we'll bring the depth up a little bit. There we go, just a little bit there, and we'll bring the size up quite a bit. That's looking good. Let's change the colors, maybe to something a little bit within our scheme. There we are, and we'll change the dark one to a much darker brown. There we go, that's looking good. Next, I'm gonna go over to the inner shadow. I'm gonna change the inner shadow here, and change the color to that brown again. So let's go and pick it up from the star. Maybe make it a little bit darker, click OK. Let's bring the size up, and it's just gonna give us a nice little inner shadow there. Let's bring that up a little bit more, and bring the multiply up and bring the opacity up. I'm not getting much of an effect there because my color's quite bright, so I'm gonna make it a bit of a darker color. There we go. And we start to get the effect that I'm after. Just make that inner shadow a little bit. Okay, good. I'm gonna click OK there. And that's really all the layer effects that I want to make here. Now I'm gonna to have to reduce the size of this. So I'm gonna press Control or Command and T, and then holding Shift down, I can make this as small as I like, somewhere along there. I'm gonna click the tick. Now, because this was a vector graphic, it's held its shape really well, but you'll see that the layer styles have remained quite big. To resize that, I'm gonna come over to my layers panel and right click where it says effects. 
and then I'm going to scale the effects. I can bring that right down then to wherever I want it to be. And somewhere around about there is going to be good. I'm going to click OK. Let's just fold this down a little bit just to make it easier to work with. And I'm going to make three more copies of that. So Control or Command and J. That's two. And again, three. And one more is four. So I've got the fourth copy here. I'm going to move that across using the Move tool. And then I'm going to shift and click on the first polygon so that they're all highlighted. Then up to the top and I can distribute them all evenly just like that. So there we go. Our stars for our movie poster are complete. We just need to add the text in and I'm going to give it exactly the same layer style. I'm Eric Rano and this was a video for tipsquirrel.com.